Hi Leo, welcome to How I Love Tarot. This is your March 2022 love reading. I've already pulled your tarot. I'm gonna be looking at four different areas in the reading for you. Here I have your present position, your strength, your challenge, and your uh, outcome. Actually, Spirit is correcting me. There's no challenge here. So we've got, okay. Spirit, just blend it together for me and let me know what's going on. Spirit, bring forward what Leo needs to know, what will help them, uh, motivate them, inspire them, validate the reading for them, and what will help them clarify any information that they need to know. There's some beautiful energy that's happening in your reading here, Leo, but it does feel like it's happening. Um, it's a very strange way in that it's coming forward. So I feel like it's happened kind of like right now and there is some inspiration and motivation that has come in uh, and it's where you have been going through quite a lot. I feel like some news or something happens that um, it's good and it's coming from your past and it is uh, allowing you to kind of perk up and to be very engaged uh, in the month of March. I do feel here, and then, you know, I kind of skip forward to the end of March here. And it does feel like some type of reunion that helps you to ground, motivates you, transform, and kind of get out of the um, energy that you have been in for some time and to get into a much more motivated energy. I do feel here that, um, you know, it's, things have been stressing you out. Um, I do feel like uh, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Um, I don't know where I'm getting that from, but you've got a lot of responsibility, Leo, in this relationship or what you're looking at. I feel that you're the, uh, you're the authority or the, the level head in this relationship. And your person is quite naive in many, many aspects. And that is quite difficult for you because you love your person very much. Um, however, there is this kind of stress that you've been going through about whether they're the right person for you because it's like your oil and vinegar. You, you, it just doesn't come together. And so there's been a lot of stress in that. And, um, but I feel like you're now finally in the strength position, kind of moving forward here and you know understanding that so kind of moving into some tolerance and some patience with this person i feel like you've always had it but there's a part of you that says do i want to commit to that do i want a lifelong experience of that because you know a part of it is really really not fulfilling um but i feel like with whatever news has come in in the month of March, uh, again in the beginning, and then I feel it picking up at the end of March, going into April. I feel here there's an experience here with another person that will help reorient you, reground you, help to see uh, perspective, and help you to feel reignited in your energy, and realize that you don't need to get your needs met by uh, your person, like 100% of your needs do not need to get met by this person, but they can get met in all different forms by different people. And I don't mean by cheating, right? Get me, get me straight here. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in friendships. I'm talking about in pe other people that you love and care about that. Um, and this is something that many people don't realize. So Leo, for those of you that don't know, I'm a psychologist. And many people think that, um, you know, when they've come out of relationships, they wanna go into a new relationship, whatever that past experience has been, whether the person met all of your needs and was a really great relationship, but one aspect was lacking, and then you go into the next relationship saying, well, this is what I want and this is how it has to be. But um, every single relationship is different and not in, in every relationship, not, it shouldn't be this way. It shouldn't be where that person can meet 100% of your needs. You have to get your needs met from other places. And um, the intimacy, the intimate part of the relationship is where what is getting met. The building of a foundation and the building of a life together. But that's why we have friends. That's why we have family. 
um, for some of us it isn't family, some of us it's just friends, and we have a group of people around us that can that we do have fun with that that do that are like-minded individuals that do make us laugh that do get our sense of humor that um, can meet us on an intellectual level and so understand that not one person has to meet your needs if that's who you choose to live a life with uh, that um, you you need to have a balanced life and a well-rounded life. So here in the Knight of Wands, we see you reigniting your passion for your life and understanding that and realizing you can be who you want to be and you can move forward in a, in a very strong way in this relationship and also within yourself. And so we have this newfound passion right here in the Page of Wands and the outcome and it feels like you find yourself again. It feels like you all the stress that you're going through and have been going through, I feel like it comes to an end because there's a recognition of, you know what, I I want this person, but um, I know that I can't get all my needs met by them and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because, and again, I don't know what this is or what's coming in uh, that's kind of shifting your perspective here, but somebody or something uh, beginning and end of March is shifting your perspective as you think about them um, and and again this it, it just doesn't feel like a love thing meaning like an like a like an ex or anything like that it does feel like a friend that helps you shift perspective Leo I hope that was helpful and I will speak to you soon